I'm Fire Ninja 7694, also known as Can't Tell You 7694, and this is the Gamers Point, where the best gamers in the world unite us two right here. Wii U, PS3, sometimes the Wii U, not often, but you know, I have to try something new every once in a while. Just keep it gaming, keep it fresh. We're outside in the wide open world, as you can see. Queer ass area. This place is gay. And yeah. You're more in the frame, man. You're not in the frame. Make the video look bad. There we go. So look, this video is basically about the next gen console. We said we were gonna do it, so we're doing it now. The video's a lot shaky because I'm holding it with like two fingers. This is how we do it here in Cali. Alright. So, do you wanna start us off with your Nintendo system? Alright, so we got a couple big games coming up. We got Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. For any Donkey Kong fans out there, I used to have one Donkey Kong Country. Uh, game with color, so that's pretty big news. Uh, Mario Kart is coming out sometime in the spring this year, so look out for that. And also Smash Brothers, Bayonetta 2. Hopefully, we get some uh, new details on um, X. You know, that game has got everyone hyped up. We only saw two trailers for it, that's pretty much it, so. That's all right now. All right, let's go to PS4 news. Brought to you by me. All right, so PS4, we're looking forward to uh, the new infamous game, Second Son, where you're playing as Desmond Cole's son. He's a controller of fire, smoke, shadows, you name it, he can control it. It's crazy, man, how good cool this game is. They were gonna be playing some GTA. All the games that we already have for PS3, they're gonna be ported up to the PS4, old cars driving by and everything, loud noises, cool stuff though. But yes, back to the gaming topics. So, new games, old games, same games, Knack sucks, don't get it, don't waste your money or time on it. Knack, <laughs> Knack, waste of a title, waste of, see this is why, uh, what are they called? They're called, uh, you know the game is that they, the, the game they, Hardcore? No, no, no. Not hard, not hardcore, not casual. Indie. Indie gamers should not be going out and making three third-party games. Triple A, AAA 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 games. They just, just stick to indie games. That's what they're there for. That's what their company's titled. That dude interrupted me. Driving a little Audi and shit. Trying to make it sound like a muscle car. Dumbass. Also, uh, don't forget, uh, Killzone. It's not an indie game, but... It's not even a game worth like, mentioning. like the worst shooter ever. Battlefield <laughs> 4 sucks. Don't, don't get it. Uh, Call of Duty Ghost is alright. Here's an interesting question. Battlefield or Killzone? I mean, Battlefield over Killzone. There you go. But Killzone is just a bad game regardless. It was it's, killing Killzone. What y'all gonna do? Because okay. you know it sucks too. So there's no point. Uh, we're looking forward to all the new games. Uh, Drive Club. You know, everybody's talking about this Forza 5 game. Don't get that for Xbox One. Now, should we go to Xbox One? Or should we just leave it at Xbox One's a garbage console? Sells for PS3 are way more, or PS4 I should say, are way higher than the Xbox One. Let's keep it at that. You know a system is going bad if, if you walk around in like Ralph's or CVS or even, uh, what's that store for? Um, uh, is this is it a four in there? Like that? I don't know. Food for less. Yeah, food for less. And then you go into the Chef Boyardee, man. And it has some winning chance to win the next one. They're trying to give away Xbox One. Burger King's probably going to start doing it soon. McDonald's already did it. Then Chef Boyardee's doing it. I think what other Doritos. Doritos is doing it. They're just trying to give away the Xbox. They don't think they, they're not going to be able to sell them. They're giving them away. This is an interesting fact. Uh, if you run into anybody in this today, uh, go to your local GameStop, Toys R Us, uh, Best Buy, Target, any any place that sells gaming consoles, and go look and see how many's on the shelf. Because I guarantee you'll probably see a ton of Xbox One boxes. And if you even think to go to the Wii U or even PS4, it's probably one left. And you ask the uh, clerk, "Hey, yo, what's up with all these empty boxes of uh, Wii U or?" No, no place to four boxes where they all at. They're gonna be like, oh, well, we haven't received our shipment yet. So they're gone. Selling out too quick, guys. Yeah, if you ask for the Xbox One, they'll be like, oh, how many do you want? We got like 50 of them you can buy for like $4. That's pretty much what's gonna be going down to pretty soon. They're gonna be losing a lot of money. So, you know, 
these guys for the Microsoft and whatever, they, they think they're all that. They're really not, trust me. The Xbox. Yeah. And they were so hyping up their console. We had already called it in the previous Gamers Point video. Xbox One ain't gonna do good. The Cable Box One. We told you guys. Just go check it out. You, you'll find out for yourself. Trust me. Anything else you want to add before the video's ended? Uh, just for people out there who love to talk about sales. You know, it's just a lot of them out there. It's a lot of them out there. I already told you, Japanese sales do not count. No, I'm just saying, just sales worldwide for how many units sold today. It's a lot of them out there. Yeah, Xbox One, Xbox One is about 3.1, 3.2 million. PS4 is about, last time I checked, it was about three weeks ago, it was at 4.3. So I'm guessing it's about at 4.7 maybe you know and the Wii U was about at like five or six million or something i don't know i haven't really checked on sales like that i'm not a big sales dude but that's your sales charts for right now the vita is actually on the tear in japan right now so it's still dead but yet it's getting all these games that it shouldn't get like usually when a console or even a hell doesn't do good doesn't get any, you know, but the Vita is, Vita's been out since 2011, only has an install base of about five something million, yet it's getting all these games. It, it just got Assassin's Creed Liberation HP. Why? All right, guys. Well, we'll get into graphics, uh, but not in this video, not in any video, really, because I talk about graphics and videos that's stupid all right so we're gonna leave you links to the graphics on our Facebook pages the gamers point that's mine and yours is gamers unite gamers unite go ahead and like the pages and the channels on Facebook we'll link it if you like it we'll be posting the graphical comparisons on there for every single console from let's say seventh gen all the way up to current gen. They have uh, some Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, Rapid Comparison, uh, Call of Duty Ghost, pretty much every multi you know, if you guys are interested in even 2K sports. <laughs> Sorry, Kunta. Sorry, I'll games. Post, I'll post that for you. I don't, I don't like 2K at all. I'm done, I'm done with those dudes. But... And, and who's the one that told you not to, to do anything with 2K anymore? You did. Yeah, I called it. I call everything. Nobody ever listens to me, though. I don't know why. But all right, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. So next Gamers Point video, make sure that you guys watch it, keep posting, keep loving, keep commenting, liking, favorite, and subscribe. Go check out the Facebook pages, links in the description down below. Until next time, guys, peace.